dude. I did 34 damage to that guy. <laughs> okay, we can hit this guy. We can get him. We can get him. We can get him. No. Hello, gamers. Today, we're going to be using the highest recoil gun in all of Phantom Forces. You're looking at it. It's the M231, but we're not just using the highest recoil gun in Phantom Forces. We're using the highest recoil gun in Phantom Forces with the highest recoil loadout. Uh, we can use, because low low recoil is re Oh, wait. No, we got to use Delta. That looks terrible. Then you got to go for Muzzle Booster. Look at my loadout, guys. You got Muzzle Booster. You got to put Skeleton Grip. Then you got to put Wire Stock. And the thing is, Wire Stock doesn't act. I think Wire Stock makes your gun less accurate. Yeah, you can see the hip accuracy bar going down. It literally does like nothing to your gun except make it like more recoil intensive. And then you got to use the M855 conversion because it makes your recoil just go like all over the place horizontally. So we'll start with the default one with just the Delta sight. This gun is already insanely inaccurate, right? So now we'll put on the first attachment, the muzzle booster. After you put on the muzzle booster, you can see not only does it feel more punishing in terms of the recoil, also just all over the place once it hits the end of its spray pattern, as you can see. It's gone up quite a bit after adding the muzzle booster. Now, when you add skeleton grip, this is just going to add a little bit more recoil. It's going to make a pretty big difference, but not an insane difference like the muzzle booster is, and it's not going to add so much RNG to it. But as you can see, it kind of just builds on what the muzzle booster has already done to the gun. It definitely increases your recoil. This is the old one. This is the new one. Definitely just builds on what the muzzle booster has started. Now, wire stock can add like way more like horizontal RNG and not maybe maybe not RNG, but it's going to add more horizontal recoil. And by RNG, I mean, it just goes back and forth just in whatever way it pleases. It doesn't really have a pattern and we have to wait for the next map. So what this says is they tumble quickly after leaving the barrel, causing inaccuracies when firing. I'm not entirely sure what that would even mean as you can see with the wire stock we got some serious recoil like there's no way you're going to be able to fire this gun and actually hit anything effectively even pulling down and using all tame see this is it's insane now in this scenario maybe m855 isn't actually such a bad thing because it does give you enough bullets to maybe kill them but Yeah, 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 dude. It hit, it hit this wall, like. If I like jitter my mouse, I think it makes it a little bit more accurate. I don't even know, dude. This thing is just, if you hit anything with this thing, lucky for you, dude. And if you're using this loadout and you can get somebody to pick up your gun, that would be insane for them because they'll die. Okay, we're gonna try this thing with Altim. Oh, we got someone. Oh, we got that 99 assist on the other guy. Took us 70 rounds, but we did kill one guy. Even like a foot away, it doesn't matter. You still can't kill anything. By the way, I... Oh, wait, he actually picked that thing up. What an idiot, dude. He probably instantly regretted that. I more or less got this idea from Oscar, but it's really not that hard to come up with this thing because like I know wire stock doesn't have an effect. I know M855 conversion makes your RNG on your recoil different and obviously muzzle booster and skeleton grip are just what you use every time to make your recoil worse. You could also use vertical grip, but vertical grip won't be as good because vertical grip increases your kick but at the same time vertical grip does increase your recoil recovery time so it might actually be good dude i did 34 damage to that guy <laughs> with like 60 rounds dude get out of here die die and it looks like a bad business map i've said this before and that kind of like throws you off Oh, no way, dude. If you guys want to see more, like, high recoil loadouts, I know basically every single one for every gun. Uh, the one on the AK-47 is really fun. Because it has a remove stock on it as well, which is, like, a huge difference. This, uh, wire stock is pretty much a remove stock, except, like, it has no upsides, because the remove stock is pretty good on a lot of guns. Like, for example, the SVDS, um, that's not I can think of. Oh, imagine he was still existing. Come on. No way. I'm going 8 and 8. I have a 1 KDR with this thing. Like, I'm actually more or less going positive. Let's see if I can actually... 
stock going above a one. No way. Come on. All right, let's get this massive reload off. Perish. We're actually going to run out of like 300 rounds of reserve because you have to realize this thing shoots like 100 more RPM than the Vector does. What an actually bonkers loadout. That's one shot, dude. That's me shooting one bullet. Ouchie, dude. Yeah, this map is kind of weird. Also, the M855 conversion makes your like movement suck. Wow. Those guys just got destroyed with my insanely powerful and, and good and not broken recoil gun. And when you really think about it, 34 to 19 is like the MP5 SD with infinitely less recoil. So why? So why would you do that? Why would you why would you use this conversion? Obviously, if you use a good loadout with this conversion, it's going to have a lot less recoil, but it doesn't matter. It still has a ton of recoil with like a good loadout. It still has a ton of recoil. Not this much, though. My man in chat really just said, this gun, he was talking about my M231, and he's like, it's 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 worth its buck. It's strong and slow, or whatever. Whatever he said. It's not. Th this loadout. If you're talking about this loadout, this is not worth it. I just said it does the same damage as the MP5 SD. At least it can three hit slightly farther. But I would just be going off way more with the mp5 sd come on no i'm going 2013 dude 2013 what what did i even do in the year 2013 i don't even remember that year there are probably people in this phantom forces lobby who weren't even alive in 2013 Oh, man. I started playing Minecraft in 2012. 2013 was when I really got into it, I guess. Okay, we can hit this guy. We can get him. We can get him. We can get him. No. 94? 94 on that guy, dude. Oh, my gosh. Did the recoil go up since I last used it? Holy, dude. Let's go. <gasps> funny number, funny number, funny number bullets. Oh. Yes. We got him. Wait, where do I even go up? Wait, can you not come? What? Oh, we headshot him. Get out of here, dude. You really try to peek me like that, huh? Ooh. I'm gonna just sit here until somebody comes along and then I'm gonna shoot them with my gun. <gasps> There's one. He's coming. Come on. 38 assist. Okay. <gasps> that's an aid. Are you serious? All right. Well, that's the highest recoil M231. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a sub, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.